Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a chrome material and I'll just jump right into it um, we're gonna create a plane and this will be the floor of our little scene here and then we're gonna add a lot of segments to this as I wanna bend it so I already got 30 well, that will be fine and then I'm gonna go to this modify list choose bend this center, and let's see which one it is I'm just gonna raise this a little because I want it to bend from one of the sides here and have a curved bend a really nice smooth one so I'm gonna raise the wrong one What's this one yeah do it like that, and then I'm gonna lower this to make it more smooth. You can see it up here. Front view, how much it curves. I just want it like that. And then I'm gonna zoom in because here is where I'm gonna make my chrome objects. I'm done with this get rid of this bend like that then I'm gonna create a torus knot as it has a lot of sides and shows chrome really nice so torus knot that'll be fine oh, didn't think that worked too well <laughs> There it is. And I'm gonna scale this as it's a bit too big at the moment. So this is a lot better. Down that'll be fine. And then we need a cylinder. Sorry, sphere. Yeah. We're gonna make that right here. Like that. Perhaps I'll small up small objects and we're going to create some text so I'm going into shapes splines and text and I'm just going to click anywhere in the scene and then I'm going to rotate this and you see I got the angle snap toggle on so 90 degrees and 90 degrees like that I'll align it a little better that will be fine. Then I will uh, put a bevel on this so it ain't just lines but a real object. So I'm going to go here and choose bevel. You can see now it's a text looking object. To get this, I did this. Uh, I'll reset these values again. See here we got our lines. I'm then going to start on level 1 choose the height. I'm gonna just make it like this maybe 2.5 is fine. Then I'm gonna use level 2 and on this one I'm gonna give it a little height as well and I'm gonna outline negatively so it's, it's like a chamfer really. Let's see if I can get a good chamfer here. Yeah that'll be fine. Good and then we need a light to light our scene and I'm gonna use a target directional and I want this to light down here like that and then gonna move the point it hits a little better center it and then I'm gonna change this one up as well to come just from the side like that and then I'm gonna scale this and make it a lot wider because I don't want it to just put a spot on here I want it to light the whole scene from this direction so a lot of size on this and then I'm gonna modify it and put shadows on and that's basically it 
I'm gonna test my scene here and see what's happening. Yeah, I'll find there's a little shadows on and it's, it's fine. I don't need more than that. Now I'm gonna start with the materials. Press M for the material to open, till it is up. Then we're gonna make the first chrome type here. We're gonna select the diffuse color here, click on it, and the darker color you get, the more brighter and more reflective is the chrome you're making, so we're gonna choose pretty dark black. Not completely black, but dark grey. Click OK. Then go down to maps, like that, and choose reflection. And click on the none button out here. Then we choose ray trace. It's found right here. We take that. Then you get to a new window with a lot of settings, and the only setting we're going to change is this none button here. Click it, and bitmap. This is pictures I already got on my computer. There's this uh, environment landscape. It makes pretty good looking uh, chrome effects. And there's uh, this pre-made um, thingy here. <laughs> Um, the chrome effects only get as good as the environments they're in because they are reflective materials and uh, they reflect objects around the chrome uh, material object. But here we'll use a fake uh, background, so we'll take this one. And we're not going to do any more about this. <coughs> Then we're going to take the next one, which is the chrome effect for our text. We're going to do the same again. Choose a very dark color, like that. Go to maps, reflection, none. Choose ray trace, like that. And click the none button. Then we choose another bitmap. And that's going to be this one. Right, and that's it. Now I want to make a third one for my background here. Uh, I just want it to be a little darker than usual. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm gonna select the Taurus knot here, and I'm gonna put the one with the landscape in on that one, and as well on the sphere here. But on the text, I'm gonna give it that one created here with the other type of image that on there and let's see what's gonna happen now render see a nice looking chrome effect it's not that bad I think this can be used for a lot of stuff you're doing with your uh, robots or machines or whatever you may use this for but I hope you can use this for something, and uh, it's a very simple tutorial, and good luck with it. Thank you for watching at 3dparadise.com.